Good evening and welcome into Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. Late last week, the West Lauderdale baseball team wrapped up their summer league practice. Despite the season just ending a handful of weeks ago, West Lauderdale already preparing for next season. And as all teams do, there will be many challenges facing the Knights straight ahead. We have to replace uh, two pitchers that threw a lot of innings for us and continue to improve with our, uh, our hitting and uh, excited about the opportunity moving to the north and uh, the challenges that that presents us. We'll be a very competitive team. Expectations are still the same. And I uh, just hope that we can uh, play as long as we can, uh, playoffs and state championship, make a good run. The ABCA Division I National Pitcher of the Year, Ethan Small, is officially a pro. Agreeing to a deal with the Milwaukee Brewers, the team who drafted him with the 28th overall pick in the draft earlier this month. Southpaw inked a deal that will pay him $1.8 million. He'll head for the Brewers Complex in Arizona for a brief break before beginning his pro career at Single A Wisconsin in a few weeks. But first was a meeting with the Milwaukee media last night. You worked so hard for so long for something, and then uh, it finally happens, and it's almost got me to the verge of tears just because I'm so happy. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen this park. I mean, it's beautiful, and uh, you know, just really excited to get started. I think it was just, you know, immense joy. And then obviously you still got a job to go do in the World Series. And uh, I'll never forget my time at Mississippi State. I mean, those, those people mean the world to me. Former Ole Miss attacker CC Kaiser has been named a nominee for the 2019 NCAA Women of the Year Award. The Ole Miss all-time leader in career goals and points racked up 100, or racked up 100, racked up 13 goals and eight assists last year. The NCAA Women of the Year Award recognizes graduating female collegiate athletes who distinguish themselves on and off the field throughout their career. A record 585 student athletes have been nominated. A list of 30 finalists is going to be announced later this year with a winner coming up October 20th in Indy. The NCAA Division I Council is expected to make new guidelines that would make it harder for college football and basketball athletes to transfer and receive immediate eligibility. Two big names that recently did this, former Ohio State QB Tate Martell transferred to Miami. He'll play immediately. QB Justin Fields from Georgia to Ohio State. He'll play immediately. The new guidelines are a response to the increase of waiver requests and growing frustration among schools and fans about the inconsistency of those decisions. New Orleans Pelicans have declined the qualifying offer on 22-year-old Sheck Diallo, making him an unrestricted free agent. Power forward out of Kansas, who just completed his third year in the league, averaged six points, five rebounds, and 14 minutes per game off the bench for the Pels. All of those career highs. With NBA free agency right around the corner, NBA superstar Kevin Durant has reportedly declined his $31.5 million player option with the Golden State Warriors becoming an unrestricted free agent. Despite tearing his Achilles during the finals, it's still widely expected that Durant will command a max contract for teams bidding for Durant, currently the favorites, the Warriors, Nets, Knicks, and the Clippers. Baseballs have been flying out of Major League ballparks at a record pace this season last night. The New York Yankees set the new all-time mark for long ball consistency. D.J. LeMahieu led off the game for the Yanks with a long ball into the left field seats, gave the Yankees a home run in 28 straight games, beating the old record of 27 set by the 0-2 Texas Rangers. New York since extending their own record to 29 games after homering a couple of times this afternoon.